Final action on this case will be for the City of Dasher on Monday, May 20th at Dasher City Hall. Uh, this case number DA-1301. Staff, please present the case. This is a 7.32 acre tract located on Highway 41 in Dasher, Georgia. Uh, the property is located uh, to, the, to the rear of the property. There's a railroad track with uh, wetlands in the area. The proposal is a sawmill and lumber business with three to four workers with the hours of operation going from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. The applicant is requesting to rezone from AU agricultural use to CR rural commercial and also to have a special exception approved for the sawmill and lumber business. Uh, there's highway commercial zoning to, to the south, about 500 feet to the south of the property. There's one residence that directly abuts the property. Staff recommendation is to approve both the rezoning and the special exception. All right, are there any questions for the staff from the commissioners? I have one question. <clears throat> Under the uh, standard for special exception review uh, item four, where it refers to the, the screen fence, with that highway being elevated, and it refers to the Dasher City ordinances, which I, I wasn't privy to when I, when I looked at this, how high is that fence going to be to prevent people from the highway to be able to, to see? The ordinance calls for anywhere between six and eight feet. The applicant has it stated on the, on the map whether or not how, how high the, the fence will actually be there. Mm -hmm. so nobody has gone out there and stood on that highway and looked at it and raised the balloon or anything <coughs> like that to see. That I was out there with the applicant, but we didn't uh, measure. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say that I don't think an eight-foot fence is going to screen much from that highway. That's what I just observed. Okay. Okay. All right. Are there any other questions um, from the staff and the commissioners? All right. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? All right. Please approach the podium and give your name and your address. I'm Pete Guthrie, 4380 Ezell Road, my home address. I'd like to answer, Mr. Raker, uh, the fencing next to the road will be eight foot. And then we plan to put another fence back, maybe, but we'll have to get the gist of it, where it would hide the rest of the property. Because uh, uh, it would be, have to be a 16 foot fence to keep people from seeing the back, and that is not feasible. Right. So right. it would be an eight foot, and then another one behind it, eight foot, or we built cypress fencing. So it be, and, and we plan to do that for, uh, to, to look at, you know, a decorative fence for that. Uh, one thing we would like to remember, this will be all electric. We will have the only thing be running that the um, noise is a forklift, and it'd be a diesel engine, but all the equipment is run by electric. All the saws, grinders, everything will be run by electric and no big uh, noise there. Uh, there will be a buffer on the south side uh, next to the residence. There, there already a fencing, uh, a lot of trees up there, but there will be a buffer there for that uh, <coughs> noise. Uh, for now. The north side, has a 20 foot, two 20 foot brims with a canal between them. And so that uh, keeps everything from north. Uh, on the west side, the railroad comes through and then uh, <coughs> Mr. Uh, Rich Copeland, but that resident is a quarter of a mile away. So, mm -hmm. and then across 41, of course, again, is a long way to, uh, uh, to resident. Now, the machine would be put, I'd say, behind the second buffer because it, it makes a noise, so we'll keep it that way. And I would uh, hope that you would uh, uh, honor 
to this and give us that, uh, approve that uh, change before we can have our meal there. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to try to answer them. Are there any questions for the speaker from the commissioners? Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Is there anyone in the audience? This is in favor of this request. Yes, ma'am. All right. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Please approach the podium and give your name and your address. My name is Miss Denhout. That is that golden pick dog too for me. <coughs> My name is Charles Stewart. And I live right next to that property that they're talking about. Been there 50 years. Uh, I was a city councilman for 23 years and we kept all this kind of stuff out of there. But now, I just learned what this gentleman was talking about. I don't believe if I would like to have a sawmill right there almost in my yard. And there's nothing between me and where they want to be on a push of sawmill but a little wire fence. Now those buffers she was talking about, by the way, I know nothing about all this. I do know that for years I have felt safe because I know that the law about it. It was uh, on land where there's gophers or indigo states. And I have both. And uh, I'd like to protest the thing that uh, I just don't approve of it. Their driveway is right next to my parents. And uh, I'm against it 100%. And uh, there's nobody close to them but me. And uh, that's about all I can say about it. And uh, if it passes or it don't pass, I, I'll do what I wanted to do was let you know that I'm, I'm disappointed and I'd like to ask a question. If they, know, if they do what they know they want to do, does that go to the value of my land? Mr. Chair, if, I'm, if I may respond to that or have staff. Um, you know, property values are handled in, a, in, a, in another element. What we deal with here is whether we think that the request that someone's asking to do with their land fits in with the comprehensive plan, which is the use of the land, not the values of it. So we could not respond to you regarding whether it would increase the value or decrease the value of it. What we can do is look at our zoning powers and determine whether it fits the criteria of those. I, I just heard wrong because I heard that they would go with the value of my land, but I can't that. All right, are there any questions from the speaker, from the commissioners? All right, well, thank you. For your comments. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Please approach the podium and give your name and your address. My name is Robin Porter. I live about a mile north of where they're going to put this sawmill. And speaking of the devalue of the property, Mr. Co. Um, Coppage put in a body shop in his backyard in the building two doors down from me. 
And I was thinking about selling the rental property that I have between me and Mr. Cobbage. And when they came out there to look at my property, he said, well, you know that your value of your property has gone down since they put the commercial two doors down from you. But this would be right next door to Mr. Charlie. I'm here a lot for him because I've known him for many years and he served the city of Thatcher very diligently as long as he was able. Very good person. I feel that the dust and the noise, because I have been to Mr. Guthrie's place over in, with it Cecil or somewhere over in that area. I went there and looked for some cedar chips one time. And it was, his office was very nice, but the area was just a sawmill. I mean, there's sawdust and there's trimmings and there's piles of wood and stuff like that. I'm concerned about the semis that's going to be going in and out down there about all the traffic that's in and out. And from my understanding, they're already selling wood from this property because I had someone to tell me Saturday was a week ago that they had already bought wood from there. And there is equipment and wood already out there. And I think that's getting the cart before the horse myself. I feel like that if, there, if this does go through, and I know that you all don't have the final say so, the city of Dasher does, but if this does go through, I feel that there needs to be at least an eight-foot concrete fence between Mr. Charlie and this property because he has lived there since 1955 and he has maintained himself very well there and a pillar in the community. I have lived in Dasher for 30-something years, so I'm not a new person there either. Um, I also feel that I, and I understand through the um, room mill, as you all know, people talk, that this is a trial basis for this property. And if Mr. Carter gets this zone commercial, then if this doesn't go through for Mr. Guthrie and it doesn't work out for him, then Mr. Carter can put probably about anything he wants to there since it's zone commercial and he won't have to bring it back before the rezoning, he may have to, I don't know all the legalities, but he may have to get approval for different things. Um, <clears throat> I just feel that for his age, this is really a slap in the face to him to put this sawmill there because he doesn't need that at this age and time in his life. Um, I feel that Mr. Gecker lives on Ezell Road, which is sort of an offbeat road. We have enough between Valdosta and us. Sometimes I'm embarrassed to tell people how to get to my house because there's so much junky stuff on 41 already. I talked with Crawford Powell after he was elected and uh, expressed my opinion about some of the places coming out 41. So if any of y'all ever ride out that way, Take a look at what it looks like out in that area. But I just don't feel that a sawmill is what we need in Dasher or the citizens of Dasher for the reasons that I've given. <clears throat> Thank you. Are there any questions uh, from the presenter, from the commissioners? No, thank you very much. Thank you. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? If not, I will close the public participation portion of this request. Discussion is now open amongst the commissioners. Mr. Chair. <clears throat> Commissioner Powell. If I may, just from a strategic standpoint, um, and I don't know if this is appropriate, but I think we should handle the rezoning request separately from the special exception request because so what we decide on rezoning may or may not have an effect on whether there is a need for a special request. So I think we need to handle them as two separate items, first handling the rezoning, and then depending on the vote for the rezoning, there would or would not be a need for a special request. So if we could handle the rezoning first, that would be. So that was that? Yeah. 
Um, the other elements that I have a couple of questions about, um, the Highway 41 is, it, it, I mean, it is a reasonably busy, high-speed area. And I noticed that it didn't say there were any traffic problems, but I didn't see ingress or egress. So, were there any comments concerning how people would turn on and off the road in a truck with lumber on it? Is that addressed? There's a, Did I just the, miss it? On the, the last map in there, there's a, there's a site plan. Uh -huh. it, it shows the, uh, uh -huh. the it shows the, the two gates that are being proposed. Is there a crossover on 41 there? Not at that point. If, if I I'm may. talking about a, 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 a pull off the road. A deceleration uh, ramp. Yeah. Nothing. That's elevated and it would be a major project to put a deceleration ramp to get trucks off of the main thoroughfare to slow down to be able to turn in. There's nothing there whatsoever. They would be stopping on the main highway in order to turn in and it's elevated so there's they would really have to do some work to put a deceleration ramp in. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the point that I'm bringing up. Exactly. That if they're doing lumber, are we going to have trucks that are going to be stopped on 41 yes. on Major Highway to turn in? So Absolutely. That, was, that was my question on that. Okay. Uh, that's all I have, Mr. Chair. All right. Mr. Chair, could I please make a statement on this? Point of order. The, yeah, the, the, discussion, the yeah. discussion on this motion has been closed. <clears throat> Are there any other discussion among the commissioners? If not, can we get a motion on the rezoning portion of this case? Zoning to uh, recommend uh, this to a very high intense usage in an area that is really surrounded by lower use intents, even though 41 will probably at some point in time become a very commercial lane. I'm not sure that this is not premature. The Standards for the exercising of zoning power. Um, one, I do not think that it is compatible with the surrounding areas. And item also six, whether the pro proposed zoning will be a use that's suitable in view of the use and development of nearby properties. And item eight, that it will create an isolated district unrelated to the adjacent and, and nearby districts. Using that rationale for the standards of exercising of uh, zoning powers, uh, I recommend denial of the request for CR zoning. So we have a motion by Commissioner Powell. I'll second. A second by Commissioner Rector. Is there any discussion on this motion? If there's not, all in favor, please indicate by raising your hand. All right, all opposed have the same right. All right, the motion is, is denied unanimously. So we're